Hi everyone, my name is Blake Bejarano, and today I'm going to show you three ways to use a Jupyter Notebook through the CoCalc platform. The first being through our custom Jupyter Notebook interface, the second through Jupyter Lab, and then last but not least through VS Code. You can see I'm at cocalc.com. I'm gonna head over to my projects. Here you can select the project that you'd like to work inside of or create a new one. I'll click on my project named Publishing. And this is my shared file system. I have a single folder called Sage Tutorial for CoCalc that contains some Sage worksheets as well as a Jupyter Notebook named 3D Plot. Selecting this will launch my custom Jupyter Notebook interface. And everything here is real-time collaborative, just like Google Docs. You can see each other's cursors moving around, see each other typing in the script in real time together. You can also view updates to the plot in real time if you'd like to visually inspect something with your colleagues. And every document includes a side chat functionality. So using the at mention symbol, you can call each other over and say, Blake, check out what I've been up to today. Leave me some annotated comments and feedback or contribute directly to the script with me in real time. And if you don't have a colleague available, you can use any of your favorite large language models with a nice built-in AI assistant to explain, fix bugs, modify, improve, document, or translate a Jupyter cell. Explain will give you a nice little synopsis overview of the underlying architecture of the problem, what each of the variables, components, and packages do. And you can, of course, translate to another programming kernel. Select the large language model of your choice, and there are both free and premium models that you can select from. You can split your screen, look at multiple portions of your code all at once, and we do have a custom version control called time travel, so you can watch the fine-grained history of your document from its initialization up to its current state using a scroll bar, which is pretty amazing as well. Um, but as promised, I can head back to my file explorer, and if I would like to use the Jupyter Lab interface, I can click here. This will launch Jupyter Lab inside of a separate tab with the shared file system. So I can use all the extensions that I know and love and also use the, the interface that I may be more familiar with. So that is one example of that. I'll quickly run these cells. And now you can see these 3D visualizations. And then last but not least, I'll head back to my project and inside of the file explorer, I'll click VS Code. And this launches, again, VS Code with a single click in a separate tab with the shared file system. And here is that 3D plot. So I can interact with my Jupyter Notebooks and use the entire VS Code extension ecosystem. But that's a quick tip and trick on using the CoCalc UI. Please like, subscribe, and follow for more. And I will see you next time. Thanks again.